Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another week of Happy Hour with Marcus. This week, we have an unbelievably talented ultra special guest, Mike Weekly from Figure It Out, the What's man up? of the hour. What's up? Second time I've had a front man on the show. If you ever feel the need to just take the lead, you can. I'm giving you that free reign right now. It could be Happy Hour with Mike. Happy Hour. Happy Hour with Mike. With Mike. Now today, I'm making a special beverage, and it's actually something that my friend Mike here has recommended for us. Now we always take guest suggestions, but today we're doing a whole thing. So Mike, please let the folks know, what are we doing here today? So this concoction, hey. I, I, oh. What are you guys doing in my house? Get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here. This is my house, this is my house. Back to what we were talking All right, about. All right, so uh, this concoction I concocted during quarantine. Something I like to call Rona on the rocks. Rona on the rocks. Not because of the Rona Rona, but because of a Rona. The Rona the Seltzer. The Corona Seltzer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some Corona Seltzer, my favorite, some tequila. We'll put a little sweet and sour in there to get a little extra taste. Gotta have some, you know, fruit for just to be organic. Now let me ask you this. You specifically requested the Corona Hard Seltzer. Corona Seltzer, And yeah. I need it to be clarified, why? Because it has zero sugar. Also, because, you know, you can have anything you want, want as, as long as it's Corona. Corona. Rona on the rocks would not be complete. It, it, just, it just goes well with the tequila. Gives it a nice blend of just... <laughs> <laughs> Where do we get started? All right, so friend. I think we should put some tequila. Some and I want to point out one thing too. We have limes at the bottom of this. So we're gonna do six shots of tequila. Six shots of tequila. One, two, tres, cuatro. Get out of here. Cinco, seis. Okay, siete. Yeah, oh, do siete. siete. Wait, wait, okay. Ocho, ocho, ocho. 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 Uh, I think we're good. I don't All know. Right, you fine. know why we're gonna stop it at ocho? Bubble Suns. Bubble Suns. Eight and no, bitch. Eight and no, and it wasn't enough to get us in the playoffs. Why even invite us? <laughs> Why even invite us? Ocho, Ocho, Suns. Bubble Suns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're out of here. You're out of here. Add the seltzer. Let's add the seltzer. I'm gonna just pour the whole thing in there. Yeah, you should go for it. We're pouring it up, folks. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? All right, you guys talk, not me. Go ahead. We're putting and, all and the seltzer all in the seltzer here. In there. For this particular and, recipe. And uh, we're gonna go with some sweet and sour drink mix. We're gonna get a little extra. Roses. Are you supposed to shake this thing? Ready to, to use. Shout out to Roses. Roses, not a sponsor. Could be. Pour the whole thing. No, I think we're good. Yeah. yeah. There are two of you. No, I'm, okay, all right. You wanna, you wanna, yeah, I wanna up? make the whole thing. You wanna thing. fill it up? Yeah, I'm gonna get right. more of this, more tequila. We're filling this bad boy to the brand. Do you guys today. wanna die? So we're gonna continue with the lime flavor. It's a blackberry lime. This time we're going blackberry <laughs> lime. We're gonna keep her going. And look, it's purple. Yeah, you're gonna get some. No. We're all gonna get some eventually. Yes. Oh. Not that much, not that much, not that much, dude. Okay, we're good. That's we're eyeballing. Right. Right. <laughs> we're good. Mix it around. I got you. Here we go. That's a good one. Oh. 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 Because of the lime is like oh. going in there to clog it up. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's the lime. Oh, yeah. Dad's on. What the fuck, guys? All right, we're going to finish off a little garnish. Cheers. Cheers. Pound on the ground. Pound on the ground. One more oh, tap. To the tap. cup. To the cup. Up to the cup. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll be honest with you. Better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's very not as like in your face strong. I was expecting to be like this. No, it's actually, it's got, you, you got the lime flavor. I can do taste the tequila and the sour gives it like another element to the tanginess. I it's definitely a tangy flavor. Tim, you join us when we drink here. It's a tradition, but uh, he, he'll come and just kind of just like drink with us real quick. <sighs> you guys want a butt chug later? Yes. Okay. Just stick it in. I do. I do want to do that. Automatic for some. I've got questions for you. Yes, sir. You and I are both 
avid Suns fans. We are Phoenix Suns. Born and raised right here. We were here through the Nash days. Kevin Johnson. Oh, gosh, go back even Charles further. Charles Barkley. Penny Hardaway. Marbury. Oh, Starberry. Sean Marion, Amari, we miss family. you guys. We're here, we're in the present. 8-0 was not enough to get us in the bubble. How long until our beloved Phoenix Suns are back atop NBA glory? How long until we're at least in the playoffs, though? Let's start there. How long until we can at least compete in the fucking playoffs? I think the first thing is, are we going to keep Kelly Oubre? I that, agree. That, are we going to keep him or are we going to send him off? Is, is Bridges more valuable? That's, that's the question. It's not for us to decide, although I would say I probably love, yes. I, I love Cam Johnson. I do too. I think he's different. He's versatile. He can guard the four. He can guard the three. He can spread the floor. And he's athletic as hell. And he's got great, he's got great chemistry with Rubio. He can get to the bucket and he can I shoot mean, that three. It's a shooter's league and he can shoot and he's he's long. I think they, they do need a, a strong power forward. Yes, they do. Um, Let's make some trades here this offseason. We're looking at I you. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who you guys want to get. I don't know who James Jones wants. But you got to get somebody that's got to be there for a while because it's got to be Booker. We got to stay with Aiton. Aiton's got to get more aggressive. Bring Giannis and, uh, to Phoenix. Ooh. Bring Giannis to Phoenix. Giannis onto the Kumpo. We're only, putting it out there. The only knock I got on you, bro, is you gotta shoot better. All right, you gotta work on that. If you come to Phoenix, work figure on it that. out, Giannis. But get figure here it first. out. Work on that. Figure it figure out. Figure it work out. Work on that figure jumper, bro. FIO. FIO. You know, but at the end of the day, how long till we're in the playoffs? One year. I'm, we're in next year. I think we're in next year. We're in next year. We're in next year. But, but I'm the telling whole you, league on alert. We we keep Ubre. We got Bridges. We keep Cam. We get a backup point guard. We got Rubio. Got Star Booker. Aiton steps it up and fucking averages 24 and fucking 12. And uh, they gotta just put it together. But we got it. We look good. They will do it. They'll do it. Let me ask you this. Rolling on the rocks. We're also both musicians. Yes, sir. All right. Let's talk music for just a second. You sell a lot of merch. I saw a video of you today packing up merch, S sending it out, sending it out, sending it out. It's probably the most merch I've ever sold. It's a beautiful thing. And I hope to be there at some point selling that much merch because that's a fucking lot of merch you were selling. Now, what is your favorite piece of merch you've ever purchased? Band related merch that you've ever purchased and owned yourself. I had a black from first to last shirt and it was uh, pink and I wore it every day my freshman year of high school. And Matt, if you're watching, yeah, I was a fangirl. Matt is <laughs> definitely watching, Matt. What's up? Fuck you, Matt. Somebody yeah. tag him. Pussy. <laughs> fucking Shrek. <laughs> no, he loves Shrek. He loves okay, Shrek. Yeah. He fucking loves, he wants to fucking marry Shrek. He wants to have kids with Shrek. He's not even Matt, he's not even Dr. Dre, he's Dr. Shrek. Dr. Shrek. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's all over now. That shirt I wore a lot and then also I, uh, I would say I had to take that that black Taking Back Sunday shirt. It was it was, it was it was it was the original OG one from their from their record, and it was black, and it had like the the yellow, and it was like it had like a like an arrow on it. I wore that motherfucking thing for years, and then there was a Seosin shirt. I had this blue Seosin shirt. I would wear it like around at in college. I went to the University of Arizona, and um. So my girlfriend, I went to ASU, bachelor's degree journalism. What do you have? Fuck ASU. Go Devils. <laughs> Shit, I went for architecture, but I party too hard. I just got out alive. You know. With a degree. Fucking that blue Seosin shirt, I swear I'd wear it to parties and like sorority girls would be like, what? What is that? And I'd be like, Seosin. it's a fucking rock band. You, <laughs> you, know, you want a party? You want a shot? Hey, take a shot. Yeah, take a shot. Like, Man, University of Arizona, huh? I'm actually going there tomorrow. I'm gonna go down there. See, see my see my good buddy Bo Boken. Bo, cheers Bo. to you, Bo. You don't drink, but here, yeah, cheers. Bo to you. Boken. Cheers to my boy, Bo Boken. S sober 35 year old who looks like he's 23. All right, next question. What is your favorite original song you have ever released? Oh. For anyone who might not be familiar, if they're checking you out for the first time, we're going to check out, figure it out. What do we check out first? What means a lot to you? Well, there's a song that doesn't get the love that I wish it got more love. And it's a song called Intoxicated, which hey, we're getting intoxicated. Uh, I don't know. It was a song that I was drunk on a fun Sunday fun day. I saw some girl I saw from college and it kind of reminded me of like, oh, like, you know, I'll, I'll see you later. Maybe one day, like, I'll see you again kind of thing. And yeah, I don't know. It's kind of about like, you know, taking that chance and like, go for it. Maybe I'll see you another, you know. What's the name of the song? Time. It's called Intoxicated. Yeah. 
He was on the Nothing to Lose EP, uh, which uh, Bo Boken is featured on. He's he's on the title track, Nothing to Lose. And uh, it's the second track, and it has all the elements that I love about, you know, modern pop punk and high energy. has a great message that came from the heart. This question is not one that I have written down. It's just something that came to my yeah, mind. Yeah, to the dome. Do you consider yourself, because I consider you to be this, do you consider yourself to be one of the best modern pop punk artists out today in terms of I'd like say, classical pop punk i'd like, say i'm i'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm more of like the nostalgic brand so i'd say like my influences you know people be like oh he's a knockoff but like i just try to write music that i love like from newfound and blink 182 and angels and airwaves and like you know even some 41 like the kid the, the bands i grew up on you know i'm not trying to like steal like these new modern band sounds i'm not trying to be all grunge i'm not trying to be like hip and cool just trying to get my if it's not cool, it is cool. Well, first of well all. for sure. Thank you. Thank you. It is cool. I hold you in that, in like in my own heart. <laughs> Thank you. Like no. in terms of modern I think, punk, I art, think, pop I, punk artists, I, like, think, I think like I gotta. It's you, know, you. A lot of shits happened in the past couple. And then of years. you. And then you. So <laughs> and then state champs. And that's the state champs <laughs> is pretty good too. Now I noticed that you collaborate with a lot of other local musicians, right? Yeah. What is the importance of collaboration in a local scene in terms of? building it up, building up that foundation. Why is it important for artists like us to sit down, have these conversations, have some drinks, have some collaborations? I think it's about, you know, bringing a community together and, uh, you know, n you should never be against each other. You should always bring each other up and support each other. Some bands, you know, are good, some bands are bad, and but you still gotta like, you know, support them and you just put in the effort and yep. you see the effort and the effort makes sense. And it's about showing that you care about what you're doing, you put in that extra effort. And I think when you see other people in the community doing that too, those people come together and that's what blossoms. And everybody um, wins. You know, there's no handout. There's no there's no handout. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. Like there's, you don't get a handout. I grew up with those guys who became, you know, Warped Tour bands, you know? Yeah. I went to college. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. You know, and then afterwards, it just, the passion just continued and I just kept working at it and, here we are drinking, talking about music, you know? That's the beautiful thing right there. So pretty. Now, last question. I need to finish my drink. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. We're going for drink number two. First of all, Thursday Night Football, figure, figure it Thursday out. Thursday Night Football is fucking terrible. Figure it out. Terrible. Can we figure this out, man? Why, why, why do they need to do that? I'm going to take the lead because hmm. we're both lead singers. Take the lead. I you told you You have a could. song. I do. Coming out right now. I do. Did it come out yet? On all streaming platforms. On all of them. But by the time you see this, it'll, it'll already be out. You owe me a drink. <laughs> Pay up right now. Pay up, bitch. Let the people know. No. Yeah. Mike Weekly, figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here with Mike right now. We're drinking all liquor and we're drinking all down. Oh, yeah, he's got blonde hair and I've got brown. I didn't like any of that. Holla. So anyways, uh, yeah. that was something slight, something off the dome, that's something M completely that's, that's original. Eminem, Eminem. Alright, here we go. Advice to artists who do not know where to go. They look at us and they say, how did you get there? You right. know, sometimes right. I downplay my own accomplishments. Maybe you do too. You know what the best part is? I ask fucking people that question to this day all the time. They go, you know what? You just gotta keep doing it. Well, let me ask you this then. What's the best advice exactly? What's the best advice you've been given in terms of the music and the industry and everything? Skate better. I mean, you gotta practice. Like, you gotta practice on your craft. You never stop practicing. You learn, you keep learning. And you keep at and you always ask questions. No question's a stupid question. You know, how do you do this? How do I get this done? Just you ask everybody who's done it before and you learn from them and there's people in the industry who've done all of it and you just ask and you ask their advice. And if they don't give it to you, then they're just shitty people. Be a sponge. Be a sponge. Absorb exactly. it all. Yeah. And it's never be too big to no, take never. some advice. No, never, never. The biggest people up top are still learning every day. You know, I'm sure Post Malone is still learning new shit every day. Straight up. You Shout out to my boy. Doing new shit every day. Learn new shit every day. And that's just like a human being thing too. Like learn some new shit every day. If you're not learning new shit every day, what are you doing? But especially if you're a musician, take the advice. Take the advice and Learn ask for advice. Days. And don't be afraid to ask for it. And is this you saying, hit him up for advice whenever you need it? Yes, it is. Hit me in my DMs. Hit him in his DMs. You can hit me too.
going down in the dens. In the dens. Plug it. Plug everything that plug the album, plug the video. You got the video coming out next week. Oh, final plug. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yo, final yeah, plug. Yeah, so I dropped my record, Searching for More, and it came out last Friday, and the single's called Endless Nights. Wait, you know Nothing what? You know what? Nothing feels uh, quite like. You know what? We got, we got a record right here, dude. We got a record right here. We got a record right here, and it's going right to my boy. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Don't wait, worry. wait, I'm hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold support, on. Oh, and we got some stickers. Stickers! Yeah! yeah. Searching for more stickers. So, so endless nights. Yeah, uh, this the single, on, and the music video is coming out sometime next week, and uh, it'll be out when it comes out next week. So look for it. This is dope. Honestly, I'm just yeah, fucking stoked that yeah. I have this in my hands. Let's go shit. Yeah. Well, from all of us here at Happy Hour with Marcus, I want to thank you, my friend. Yeah, man. Had a good time. We're gonna. Can we do like a wedding? Kind yeah, of we're gonna do this. Yes, yeah, so this is how we do it for the boys. Mm -hmm. He's starting the whole thing. Came out my nose for the boys. For the boys and the girls. We the love you. Beautiful girls and the beautiful boys. And we'll see you next week on Happy Hour with Marcus.